Hey everyone, it is day 129. It is the morning. I want to show you all that I am roommateless. So I get a walk around vlog. That's my horrible room. I'm going to pack Haley. Haley. And then over here, my uh, So, I really am kind of sad that I'm all alone, but I don't have to use headphones now and play my music as loud as I want, but I'm all alone in this place again. It is really ironic that I was the first one here and I'm the last one to leave. So, I'm going to head to the Agricultural Museum soon and then I'm meeting everyone up at the baths, which is why my hair is up. I showered it today after the... Uh, because of the color, because I'm hoping I don't dye the baths purple and I'm hoping the mineral water doesn't affect it, but I'm keeping it up and hopefully out today anyway. I really should have gone to these baths when I had not just recently dyed my hair, but I don't know. You can see. Ugh. I'm trying to vlog. I still like it, but the bangs are coming out better now that I can mess with my part myself. So yeah, um, it is really late. I should have started about an hour. Well, I should have showered like at 8 o'clock and it's like 11 o'clock. Okay, let's get excited and let's get going. The cultural museum is at City Park. The replica castle is what it is. And right now I am top of the tower. So getting some amazing pictures. That tower there, I have some pictures from at the end because I gotta do both towers. But I did this tower, then I did the actual museum. So enjoy the view, enjoy the pictures of the agricultural items and what's interesting about this castle is it's not a castle in the fact that a royal family lived here it's a castle made in remembrance of the millennial celebration that happened in the 1800s for the thousand years Hungary has been around and they commissioned a guy to build it and it's in the style of it. this one is the gothic style uh, castle like the similar to the one in Transylvania. I don't think I saw that castle so it is a replica castle and then there's a one that I saw earlier that has a Romanian style. So that's why it sits. It's not a castle that you know it would and it was purposely made to be an agricultural museum. It's been that way since it was built which just blows my mind and I'm very curious how often there's agricultural museums and around the world and all that has to do but you're seeing it just was a lot of collection of stuff a lot of stuffed animals because I think a lot of this part of the exhibit oh I love that window this part of the exhibit was all about gathering because that was a um, big part of the prehistoric and early times in Hungary was they were semi nomadic which meant they would gather and hunt as well as plant and grow and this is a wine exhibit down the basement which is a permanent exhibit of the museum so, first the gathering, now you have the wine, and then the next exhibit is some of the history of how the Hungarians started to live on the land and grow and things. Which those fire stacks, uh, well chimney stacks, how they heat, I saw those in Pesh and now I'm seeing them here and I've seen them in other some castles. So one of the, again, one of those things, and now at the end, I'm like, well, these keep popping up, popping up. So, and there's that window at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, so yeah, the next one, so some of these pictures, you're seeing the exhibit, that last one, I was trying to show the glass windows, because the building is amazing. That's just an amazing feeling, being in castles, that the little girl who wants to be a princess just comes out. It's, uh, I love seeing castles. There's so much fun. But yeah, so agricultural gathering things, a lot of the livestock that is native to Hungary and what they use. It's very interesting to see the cattle and be like, that seems similar to what I'm used to. But then there's some animals that's like, yeah, that's a little bit different. But yeah, as I was saying, so that this is like really early, like 900 AD and 1000 AD type living areas of just people and how they were there. And again, the heater chimney thing. They just pop up everywhere. And coming up is this cow. I took a picture next to it. You see it's on a platform, so it's not technically tall to me, but I hope you can see how big it is. 
just was such a big cow. I, like, I needed to show how I was a cow. And there's that sheep with the curly horns. I'm never going to get over the fact that those are here. I'm hungry. I need some public transportation and collection of uh, plows. And then farmer's market. That was a, That's more for the castle viewpoint. Like I said, it just was really cool to walk through. I got one quickly. Some horses harnesses. So next up, I'm going to head upstairs and you can see a quick view of kind of like the upstairs of the castle and then it has ooh, this, I was so like, what is in this case? It is completely empty and they're like, oh, this has been here for 120 years and then I look in and it's like a rod. So, cool, cool history agricultural museum. But anyway, so coming up, I'm heading up the stairs right here. This is the upper part of the castle, just breathtaking and awesome. But to the side is a National Horse Museum. Another one of the things is like, how many places have horse museums? But they make a big part of history, so it's pretty cool. If you're a big horse girl, I think you will like it. I took as many pictures as I could for the horse girls I have in my family, or uh, friendships and families. So, yeah, this is part of the Horse Museum. Like I said, I, after this I went to the other tower and I went to look out there quickly and you'll see a couple pictures of that. But overall, this was a great experience. I'm happy i finally done it. This was on my to-do list since day two of being here. So, and I, it was cool being in a castle. I will never get over the fact that I have been in a castle of two or three or four at this point. And it makes me very, very happy. So, all is good. Now I'm going to video and catch you up on the other things. Hey everyone, I'm talking about, this is the end of the day. Um, I talked to my mom for a really long time, so that's why I'm going to rush through this and get to the vlog. But So that was the Agricultural Museum Castle. Really cool. Uh, I then headed out quickly to meet everyone at the baths because I was running late and of course I had some trouble with the public transportation. I love the public transportation. It is amazing. The other night, I forgot to tell you about that, I went on the Christmas train. I've, I think I talked about before the Christmas trolley where they light it up, but I didn't realize, not Christmas train, Christmas bus. They have them decorated and candy cane and Santa's on it, which is really, really cool. So I love the public transportation, but I just will always have trouble with it, it seems like. So, anyway, so then I got to the bathhouse. The bathhouse was a lot of fun. I, both of them, like, sad I didn't do it earlier, but truthfully, I don't mind that I didn't do it more than once. Like, I'm not a big wa water person, so I'm perfectly fine with the fact that I did it once. And I, for me, I think it was much more enjoyable having people there, because, to talk to and hang out with, because otherwise I would have hang out in the water and been bored after 30 minutes and, like, awkward with other strangers around and left. So, the bathhouse... It was really cool, really refreshing. I did both the saunas, the normal bath, the hot bath. I didn't do the cold bath. I don't care about cold. And then I also went to the restroom, like not the rush, like bathroom. It's a room that you rest in <laughs> with Rose and I actually fell asleep and took a nap in there. They had to wake me up, which I did wake up at one point and I was very surprised Rose was gone, but I was like, eh, I'm still tired. So I just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> So, really relaxing. I think that's part of the reason why I'm like so good right now. One, I napped. Two, I just got to hang out in the water with some friends and talk and hang out in the sauna. And, I mean, my body feels better. Like, they're thermal baths, so they have really healing resonance. That's one of the things Budapest is famous for. So, like, it's why I'm like sad I didn't do it sooner or do more because it's something big here in Budapest. But, like, since I'm not that big into water things... I don't mind that much. So, I mean, I had a great time. So, they woke me up, though, because then we went and got dinner, which, I don't know if I told you about this, it's a cheeseburger place, but it isn't cheeseburger like you and I know in America. It's the fried cheese, which is a very common vegetarian option here in Budapest and other European countries, um, is the burger. So, the breaded fried cheese is the burger, is the cheeseburger, and then they do their own stuff, which I had one the other day, and I told Rose, and she's like, oh, I want that, so that's why we all went. And I got pasta this time to try something different, and their cheesy chips, which is cheesy uh, potatoes, or cheese fries. 
So it was the cheese bites were really good. The cheesy the pasta was kind of whatever. It was almost mac and cheese, but not quite as good. I am so ready for mac and cheese when I get home. So that was a really, really good time with them, and I had to say goodbye to Steffi, but less dramatic. I think after you get like done with your first couple goodbyes, it gets a little bit easier because it, it's just happening now. It's just happening. And when I was talking to mom, it's almost nice that everyone else is leaving first. It makes it much easier for me to leave too. So then I quickly ran home and took down my hair. I am actually really liking this now. I, I need a part. Like, I don't think why the hairstylist tried to get rid of it. I mean, this isn't fantastic having short hairs on this side, but I'm loving this. Still loving the color. The um, baths did not mess with it too much, so I think more of a shampoo might have um, than the bathhouse, because I did keep it up. I mean, I had a shower, so I mean, they got wet, and that's, well, I was really worried that I wouldn't like it at all today after having it in a bun after showering and having to get it wet while being in a bun. And it was still wet when I went to my next activity and I just put on my hat I was like whatever who cares if people see me with wet hair at this point <laughs> so but I went quickly my home and then I went to the circus finally this has like been on my to-do list since October to see the circus and this is their Christmas show I only know this because they had gifts and kind of a toys idea there is a storyline the ringmaster would come out and talk but it was all in Hungarian so I have no idea what the storyline was. There is a family, a father who was like a blacksmith and a mother who was like a seamstress, and then the little boy, and like they put him to bed. And then they were that family, which I'm pretty sure it's an actual family because they had common last name, but like the last name is the way you and I as an Americans would define a last name, which really confused me because I thought they would do the Hungarian way where it switched to what we think. But so they, they were the closing act. So I think there's some kind of build up to it. I don't know. I don't know the storyline. But the nice thing about the circus is the individual shows are still enjoyable to watch. I just don't know what the storyline is. I do have quick stim bits to show you. I didn't want to sit there and uh, vlog their whole show as well as there's some that I tried. I need to go through. I might share them. I might not. Um, that just for me to like try to watch and vlog and because of how high they went, it was just not worth it. So I just kind of gave up. Um, the interesting one, the first one you see, well, did I do the opening act? I don't remember it. But the, it's Men in Black. I don't know why they did a Men in Black sequence, but all I showed you was three people. But right after I stopped videotaping, a guy dressed up as an alien came out too and was doing the trapeze acrobatics as well. So that was very entertaining. I didn't vlog every single one couple of the animal animals, I just kind of like gave the aspect of the animals there. Uh, like I was saying with the last one being the family, I didn't vlog because what they did was the dad, I guess he really is that, he would take the really tall poles and balance it on his forehead and then the boy and the mother would climb up and be at the top and you know stand upside down on their hands and do really crazy things. What was crazy was the second to last one was the mother went up and then the son came up and they did the whole like stand sideways thing to where the thing, the uh, bar that the father is holding bows and they keep it, and I'm just like, it's bowing, what are you doing? And, oh, it was so impressive and then after that, they finally changed the last one, it stood on the dad's shoulder because then the boy went up and held on and he spun it so it's like a top of a toy spinning around. And that was, that was heartbreaking. Them and like the people who hold on to the swingy thing and they flip around. I don't, that's the one I'm not sure if it came out very well, so I'm sorry if it didn't. But they spun around and did all these crazy things that like, they just make you, like your heart beats so fast that you're like, ah, I can't watch it. But then like you don't want them to stop because it's so amazing. So. It was, it was a cool show. I wish I knew the storyline, but it's okay. They were all so crazy impressive, and it's crazy that they do this five days a week, two or three times a day. Saturdays they do three. I think the lions were a little bit over it. The female lions were sassy. Oh my gosh. 
Um, I wish I could have talked of pictures. They have the male lion. He goes up and he does kind of like that royal crest kind of stance. And it was pretty cool. And like there was a couple times he was like growling at the kids in front of me. But I think it was because he was getting prepared to do that stance. I don't think he was actually like that frustrated. But the female lions were sassy. So that was cool. There was also dancers who would come in between. What's really cool about the circus is how everyone has to work together to make things happen. They have to change their sets so quickly. And you have to watch it. So then they have like these in-between dancers that help the storyline. And they would... With the constants and like their ballerinas and dancers, to where at one point they all like just walking on their toes, like that's totally normal for a really long time. Like it just is impressive how long they go. With that, there was an act I didn't get any video of as uh, two b ladies with birds, and I mean like they just came out all dressed white and fancy and they were dancing, and then all of a sudden there's just a bird in their hand. And I'm like, wait, where did that bird come from? And then all of a sudden the bird becomes two birds, and I'm like. And they pull out five birds, and one of them, the fifth bird, I think I saw her t pulling it out of her skirt. So that's what I think would happen, but like, I haven't seen a lot of amazing magic in real life. So that one, I was just like, what? Where are these birds coming from, and what are you doing? So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoy those clips. They're not that great. Uh, I hope you... The circus is meant to be seen live, so it was really cool. I did pay for some of the best seats in the house because I figured, why not? It was maybe 12 bucks, which, you know, an IMAX movie theater ticket is more than that. Um, I, but I also thought it was bigger than it was. It was a much smaller arena than I thought it was, so I probably could have paid for a cheaper one and had a good enough experience, truthfully. But it was also, like, one of the few times I was actually able to be right where like most of them would like laying the uh, performance towards which was just really cool so I don't mind that much it was a lot of fun I also got the giant thing of popcorn because this is probably a little bit less than 350 like when am I gonna get this much popcorn for less than 350 even my home movie theater who which is really cheap their small is two bucks and their medium's three like so the drink, though, kills the price. But I bring that up because I got that at intermission because at the beginning there was too much of a line. I was like, I'll just wait till intermission. I sit down and I realize that the lady that's been sitting next to me keeps giving me these, like, glances and, like, death glares. I don't, I, I don't know if it was me or not, but I swear the whole time I was eating my popcorn, she was, like, really angry at me. And it's like, it's my popcorn and I'm chewing with my mouth closed, and there's times when the music's loud enough, you can't hear me anyway, and like, there's three other seats next to you and your boyfriend or husband, whoever he is, move down to. I don't know why you keep giving me these death glares, and every time I pull up my camera, she would give me a death glares, and it was like, what's your problem? <laughs> so, and I don't know, I mean, it, it may have been going past me to someone else, she may have just not notice, but I mean, there are just times I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, what is your problem? But whatever. I never talked to her. She never talked to me. But definitely, it, it irritated me just because it was like, really? I paid for this ticket too, and you can move if you really wanted to. I'm stuck in the middle. So, because I don't think she was doing it the first act. I think she only did it the second act. And I don't think she talked English. Um, and I wasn't going to start up a conversation if we can't even speak the same language. But yeah. And then I came home and was working on a few things and called mom so I don't have to call tomorrow because I have a potluck and I should go to bed. Catch up. Going to see her on Tuesday. So we're all good there. I helped her with her Christmas cards. One excited side note is Shelby, or I won't say her name, last name, Shelby from Bethel who's been studying abroad in Ireland, actually was in Budapest the other night. We didn't run into each other because she was here for just a night going on to Pesh, which I've been, which was really cool, um, because she has a friend there or something, and she just didn't think about catching up, and I don't blame her. So I just thought it was crazy that someone from my life in America showed up in this city because I she posted a picture with the Buddha Castle and I was scrolling through and I'm like, wait, what? Buddha Castle? What are you doing in Budapest? You're, you're supposed to be in Ireland. So, yeah. 
those are my tidbits. That's all I have today. I will now show you those circus films, and I hope you enjoy. And it's going to slow down now. I have a lot less adventures. I've pretty much marked everything on my half to to do to do list. So, yeah. Um, mm, that makes me feel like we're over, and I feel like I need to say more. I'm not right now. I'm not. I'm not going to say more. I'm just going to close it out. Okay. Thanks for staying tuned to my adventure.